Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Recently, while browsing for inspiration for filament examples, I found this table. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool to try to recreate that with filament? And this is exactly what I will show in this video. This table comes from open source project called Wealth Folio. It's not a filament or it's not even Laravel or PHP app, but it's open source. So here it is on GitHub. You can take a look and read more about it. And one of the screenshots got my attention. The table, which were recreated like this. So this is what I will discuss in this video and what elements we have here, kind of custom elements on top of the default filament table. So a badge with a color, which is not the default color of the badges, then bold text here, which is actually calculated as an accessor in Eloquent, then currency signs, the column with two lines and with color also calculated, and also this icon instead of edit button. So we implemented all of that as a part of our filament example. So in the project, you may see wealth folio table styling. And traditionally on this channel, I will show you the main thing, but if you want the full source, this is part of filamentexamples.com if you purchase the examples. Now, each of our examples has readme file with explanation of everything. And I will just show you the main thing from that readme file, which is this. So let's discuss it step by step. The first thing is badgeable column, what that is. This comes from a plugin, this one, badgeable column by Adam Weston, which allows to add the badges to the table. It's pretty easy to configure and that allows you to do something like this. So that was one part of the task to implement that badgeable column but also see color black. By default in the colors of filament, you can use colors like danger, primary, and one of those six typical colors provided by filament. So if you want a separate different color, you need to register it. So this is done separately in the app service provider by filament color register, and then you have the string key of whatever color you want. So this is how we get the black here. For example, let's actually experiment and comment that out. If we don't have color black, we are refresh, and this would be the default badge color. By the way, I haven't shown you how it looks in the database. So this is the holdings database table with these values. Nothing really too fancy here. Now let's talk about the next column, which is market value. It is calculated from two columns, quantity and market price current month. On the database level in the eloquent model, it's this market value attribute with multiplying operation. And then in the resource, we can use it like this market value. So this will automatically use that eloquent attribute. Also, we add weight, bolder font, and also add the money with the value of the market locale, which is this column. And also we save those numbers in cents, which is a good practice for money tables. So we divide the actual value by 100. So that's why the market price, for example, in the table, we have 79 euros and in the database we have 7900 because that is in cents. The next column we will discuss is performance column which is this performance make. What that is? If we click that inside we have a custom column of filament with a few methods that help to make some calculations. So get the difference and we can use this get record to have the specific row of the table and make the calculations from the fields. So we need to get the difference, get the percentage and then get profit. So whether it's plus or minus. And for that we have two columns in the database current month and last month. Of course, in real life, it will be probably more complicated. But since this project is not about financial calculations, we simplify that to just difference and then also function to get the performance color, whether it's profitable or not. And then that custom column view the blade is this. If we click the blade, we use those helpers from the custom column like get profit bool, get percentage and get difference with the dollar sign all of them. And then also we use number from Laravel. So this is how you can create and use custom columns in filament. And then the final thing visually this sign instead of edit button, this is basically overriding the actions for the table, which is done in this in the actions array, you just provide view action. In this case, it's not edit, it's view action, hidden label, which means it will not show view text. Instead, you show the icon and this is a link. For example, if we comment that out and we refresh, this will be view 
present. So yeah, a quick rundown of the table, which is a bit more custom than the default filament. What do you think? Would you have done anything differently? Or maybe you have some more tips and tricks and secrets for table columns and filament? Let's discuss in the comments below. And as usual, you can get the source of this project as part of filament examples. Here it is in the list, well, folio table styling. So you can purchase all of those examples, currently 59 premium projects for one-time purchase of $99 at the moment. We will actually increase the price pretty soon, I think, as we publish more and more projects. So yeah, for that price, you get the access to the GitHub that contains all those repositories. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.